we we were absolutely thrilled. Um, it's also really nice because I think we all, the show is quite unique for all of us involved in it. I think we all had a very specific reaction when we read it separately before getting together. And um, it's very, very different. It's, un, it's unlike anything else in the West End. And um, to get a, a lovely nod and the recognition uh, for the Olivier is brilliant. And I adore the writer, Rob Askins. I think he's exceptional and um, I'm just thrilled for him that we have that success. I think it's cathartic. I think um, it should be, you know, holding a mirror up to our society, um, and all of these things just sort of make uh, kind of life a bit more palatable. I hope. Miriam Margulies uh, said, amongst other things, um, a really good piece of advice, which was uh, praise generally and critique specifically. And, um, and it's a really good one because the worst thing that can happen when you're sort of talking about a show or what you're doing in a show and someone says, I love it when you do this, you'll never be able to do it again. Um, whereas if you are being critiqued on something, you need to know how to make it better. So you need to know exactly what it is. I actually remember one of the first proper plays I saw and it was a new play. Um, and it's called Clocks and Whistles, and it was on at the Bush Theatre, and Kate Beckinsale and Neil Stook and John Light were in it. And I think it was the first time that I actually sort of, I think saw something that wasn't like a, a show, or like a Christmas show, or, or kind of uh, childish, or just sort of entertainment values. It was something that was sort of had these conversations, and, um, and the writing was brilliant, and their performances were brilliant, and we were really close to them. And that really, really stuck out. And um, I think I've since, met all three of those actors and um, and worked with a couple of them and um, and I met Kate Beckinsale and mentioned it to her and she was like I can't believe you saw that show because I, I don't think you know not many people did see it. I've had a lot of tricks played on me during shows. Um, it's always been in shows, uh, it's always been in long runs because people are trying to sort of like keep it interesting. Um, I'd probably say the biggest culprit was on One Man Two Governors. Um, there, there was, in fact, I think our last matinee in London um, was, so, I mean, I can't even talk about it because it was so awful. I mean, it was brilliant, but uh, it's too rude to talk about. Basically, I had a, a letter prop and there was a photo of something really horrific. <laughs> and I remember opening it because my character had to be really serious at the time, really stern. And I was like, I opened it and I was like, and I was like, I'm fine. Fine. And I tucked the letter away and I was like, I'm fine, I'm dealing with this. And about 10 minutes later, I suddenly exploded with laughter and could not stop.